things get exaggerated and distorted and I just thought maybe the moment has come just to um, just to say how it happened truthfully and then I can at least go easy to my bed and think well the truth's out there and people can take it or leave it. I was going by train from Manchester to London, sitting there thinking of nothing to do with writing. And the idea came out of nowhere. And I could see Harry very clearly, this scrawny little boy. And it was the most physical rush of excitement. I'd never felt that excited about anything to do with writing. I'd never had an idea that gave me such a physical response. So I'm rummaging through this bag to try and find a pen or a pencil or anything. I didn't even have an eyeliner on me. So I just had to sit and think. And for four hours, because the train was delayed, I had all these ideas bubbling up through my head. At first, I really, really was positive I wasn't going to see it because um, I have my own vision of the book in my head and I might go see it. The only problem now is that the kids can act. If we, want, if we want to please the fans, if we want to make this movie the way it should be made, it has to be an all-British cast, right down to not, almost non-speaking roles. Enjoy the moment. That was their advice. Are you enjoying it? I am enjoying the moment. This is amazing. I can't believe it. In 1997, J.K. Rowling had moved on to the second book in the series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry! Oh, come on. Look, I didn't know I could speak Parseltongue. 1999 marked J.K. Rowling's transformation from popular author to international superstar with the launch of book three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. At the stroke of midnight on July 8, 2000, Potter mania took hold with the release of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. November 18, 2005. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire was released in movie theaters worldwide and earned a whopping $102 million during its opening weekend. Since then, it has raised its worldwide gross to $890 million, considerably more than the second and third movies. Welcome, welcome to another... The official podcast of The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. Do you hear that, Ern? The Leaky Cauldron. Welcome to Pottercast, your number one source for news, theories, discussion and interviews with people from the Potter books and films. I know a small amount myself having written the books. My name is J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling attended a news conference in Bucharest, Romania, where she discussed ways the country could reform its children's welfare programs. Hello, everyone. I've been moved and inspired by everything I've seen during this very brief visit. Romania is now showing the way in the protection of children's rights. I'm helping by my involvement in the children's high-level group, and I would urge you to help us too. Thank you very much. Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grant, and David Heyman attended the Empire Film Awards in London, where they participated in the Outstanding Contribution Award given to the Harry Potter movie series as a whole. The actors also gave acceptance speeches and participated in red carpet interviews where they discussed progress on Order of the Phoenix. Also, Mother Laura Mallory launched a campaign to ban the Harry Potter books from Georgia's public schools. The books are indoctrinating children into witchcraft. Um, it's not mere fantasy. I'm asking that they be removed from the school, elementary schools in particular, because the young children um, are, are not able to discern as easily as older children. Mallory has not read the books, as she said that they are too long and that it would be hypocritical to read a book before condemning it. Review panels with the Gwinnett School District have ruled the book should stay in its libraries, but Laura Mallory is meeting with the district next Thursday to appeal that decision. Two paleontologists chose to name a new dinosaur species they discovered, Dracorix hogwartsia, in honor of the Harry Potter series. J.K. Rowling called it the most unexpected honor that has come her way since the publication of the Harry Potter books.
This is brilliant, said Ron. And he and Harry led the way into the shop. It was packed with customers. Harry could not get near the shelves. And the co-editor of the Harry Potter series is here to unveil the cover. So tell us about the artwork. What are we seeing here? Rowling is in Hollywood this morning, sitting down with 1,600 students at this hour to read from the widely, wildly popular and final Harry Potter book. The event is called the Open Book Tour. Yeah, I think I've finished. Hey, Joe, well done. Thank you. Well, you don't know. It might be rubbish. I'm re well, I'm actually really, really happy with it. We're dumping the fire!